Greetings and whew, sweaty salutations, comic book conversationalists. This is Comic Book Hangover. My name is Scott. And here in the middle of, they're calling it a heat wave. I'm calling it August weather early. Um, we've been getting 80s and 90s degrees, 80 to 90 degree weather here in Michigan. It's weather to temperatures we normally get, but not until end of July into August, but it's just happening a little early this year. We're just not used to it. That's not, that's, that's all we got fans blowing, uh, air conditioner we use during the day to cool down the house and have the, uh, the, uh, the fans blow it around the house. But you know, that's not what we're here to talk about. I hope everybody is being safe and taking care of themselves during this heat, uh, especially if you're going down and getting comic books. Uh, this is going to be sort of a shorter video because I'm not going to have any real reviews to do starting next week. We're going to do weekly haul, weekly review. So some of these books I'm going to talk about next week. Uh, this is also one of those rare weeks where I did not get a Godzilla comic. So I am going to spotlight my Godzilla King of the Monsters number one facsimile edition poster from Marvel. I really wish DC would do posters like this. I I, I know a, a lot of people, uh, not people, but I, I see online a lot where they'll say, you know, a new poster has been released, and all it is is just an image online. It's not an actual poster. This is a poster. This is a poster. You hang it up on your wall. You can put it on the frame, whatever you want to do for it, with it, but you, you hang it up on the wall. A poster is not an image that you see on a website. That's just an image that's on a website. But I wish DC would do more of these posters, would actually do any posters. Uh, both for their uh, their current books and also their their classic books like Marvel does. I um, mean, DC does have a lot of really good covers that would make some sweet ass posters. Uh, but to be that as it may, no Godzilla books this week, so we got the Godzilla poster going there. Uh, whew, it's warm up here, uh, so let's just get into the books that I picked up this week. Uh, we got I'm going to sort these out a little bit. Uh, final issue of Elvira meets H.P. Lovecraft. Wrapping up this series that I only read like the first two issues of. Um, it's just it's just one of those things. I just never really had an interest in this whole uh, H.P. Lovecraft thing. So uh, probably my least favorite uh, uh, series of Elvira. And I also got the, the photo cover. I'm okay with the photo cover. I, I don't need to read these ones at all as long as I get that photo cover. But that's probably my least favorite one. I read the first two issues. And I'm not as attached to H.P. Lovecraft or the whole concept of them uh, like a lot of other people are. So... I just it just didn't do anything for me. It's, it's like the, the the Three Stooges uh, when they they had the Three Stooges versus or Three Stooges beats Cthulhu. Not really my my area for horror and horror literature, so it just it meant nothing to me. But I'm sure other people really enjoyed it, and that's great. I'm glad you did. If you did, uh, starting this week, excuse me, the heat makes me tired. Is Destro number one? I grabbed the regular cover. A lot of these books, I'm only grabbing just the standard cover. I'm not going to get a lot of the variants, um, but there, there's that one there. I'm looking forward to checking that one out. From Marvel, I grabbed this cover of the Uncle Scrooge and the Infinity Dime. Very much looking forward to reading this one. I love some Uncle Scrooge stuff, especially classic Uncle Scrooge. I know they did re reprint a classic Scrooge story in this uh, one-shot. This is a one-shot. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this, and this is probably going to be one that I talk about next week. And I did pick up a couple of facsimile editions. Uh, funny enough, the only like actual Marvel book that I picked up this week was a facsimile edition. It's Amazing Spider-Man 257. I do have or had. I, I sold off a bunch of my Amazing Spider-Man books a couple of years ago, and this may have been one of them, but I did have the original of this one. I was kind of like the cover. I don't know what it is about, but I was kind of like this cover, so uh, I had to get the uh, facts on the edition. I just, I, I grabbed facts on these of Marvel and DC for the most part. Uh, and the last one I picked up this week, and this is probably going to be a very, very short video, is uh, the Crisis on Infinite Earths number three facsimile edition. This one I've been reading. Uh, I read the first two issues, re very much enjoyed it. As I said before, the beginning of this this uh, reprint run, I've never read Crisis on Infinite Earths. It's never really been, uh, it's never been a, a story that really interested me. Really had nothing to do with my part and my interest in the DC universe, which basically begins and ends with Lobo. But this is this has been a really interesting read. I've been, I have been enjoying, just like I've been enjoying Secret Wars as a monthly book. I had the trades for it. I have one or two trades for it, but I've never been able to read Secret Wars in a trade but when i'm reading it as a monthly comic book i'm really very much enjoying it so uh that is that i'm, I'm really enjoying what i've got going on there and as far as i cover the week goes you know i was gonna go with destro but 
I'm going to do this one for my cover of the week. Uncle Scrooge and the Infinity Dime. This cover, this reason why I picked up this one is because it reminds me of you know, the, the when, when Carl Barks was doing uh, Uncle Scrooge comic books. I mean, that, that has a really, a real classic... Um, a classic look, classic vibe of Uncle Scrooge. It's him diving into his money. That doesn't get any more classic than that. And of course, up there in the clouds, you got uh, Donald Duck and the boys, Huey, Dewey, and Louie looking over him. So classic looking uh, Uncle Scrooge cover. So this is going to be my cover of the week. Now, next week, I am going to be doing reviews on some of these. So uh, it's, it's, it's an old format. So for those who weren't here at the beginning when I was doing these videos, what I do is just go over, I'll go over the new books that I picked up next week. I'll go over those. And then I'll start talking about some of these books that I picked up this week. And that way you get your chance for spoilers or whatnot. So it's, but by then it, there shouldn't be any worries or spoilers. These books will be uh, out for a week already. So, uh, but that said, we're going to wrap this up again, a really short video for this week. And I'm also going to try to maybe post this on TikTok. I got to try to bring that into the fold a little bit and, you know, spread out these videos some. So I'm going to experiment with it a little bit. If, uh, if, if it doesn't show up on TikTok, then the experiment didn't work. If it did, then hopefully, hopefully it works out well. I don't know. It'll be the first time that uh, my face has been seen really on TikTok. And I'm fully aware that I have uh, a face made for radio. I know I understand that fully, but we will see what happens. I will still put the link to my TikTok in the description down below. So, you know, the those that are interested in seeing the, the little minor things that I do over there, go ahead, check it out. I don't care. And uh, for those of you who are watching on TikTok, if this shows up on, on that format, on that uh, app or whatever, uh, on my profile, right at the top of my profile, there is a link to my YouTube channel. So you can check out the other videos that I've done, the other comic books that I talked about. So, um, the other thing is if, if this works out and I start doing these videos on TikTok, I'm going to try to keep these videos under 10 minutes long, which is great. I, I love the 10 minute format. So uh, that said, once again, we're going to wrap this up. Hope everybody had a, a great new comic book day today. And I uh, hope you're all being safe and taking it easy during this heat. There's no reason to go out and exert yourself when you don't really have to. Anything that needs to be done can wait. Like my, my lawn is getting a little tall. I'm, it, it can wait until after this heat is over with, and then I'll get out there and I will mow it. Um, it's fine. It can wait. It'll hold. It'll still be there. Uh, your health is not more important. Your, your health actually is more important than making your lawn look good or doing anything outside right now. So please be careful if you have to do anything outside. But that's it uh, for the third time. Can I say that? I'm going to wrap this up. Hope everybody enjoyed the books and I hope everybody enjoyed your new comic book day. Some amazing books came out this week. What I get every, each and every week is just a very small portion of it. Uh, there's a lot of great books from some amazing creators coming out. So I hope you guys enjoyed your books and hope you enjoyed watching my little video here. And like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We will see you guys next week with another new comic book weekly haul, weekly review video. See ya.